Hi there, my name is Gareth Banks. I'm the Head of Sustainability here at Orange Box. I'm also the guy that uh, designed the Do Chair, so I'm very well placed to talk you through uh, a quick video just to show how to replace the arm pad on the Do's multi-adjustable arm design. Um, so uh, no need to take the arm off the chair. We can do this completely in situ. Uh, and this is for those, for those occasions uh, where the top of the pad has, has, um, has, has had a little bit of damage over time. Uh, this chair, I've just pulled this from uh, one of our teams here in the factory. This is uh, six years old, but um, still going strong. So it hasn't actually got any damage on the pad, but uh, I've just used this as a donor just to demonstrate the idea. So this multi-adjustable arm, um, we only need two tools today. Now this multi-adjustable arm has got a little um, self-locking catch on the underside. So I need one tool, which is a Torx bit, a Torx 15 bit to remove that. And then I need a PZ2 bit to actually take the, the arm pad sub-assembly off. So they're the two things, two operations that we're gonna be uh, walking through today. Now, you can use hand tools, uh, just to make it a little bit quicker um, for the machine, for the, um, for the uh, self-tapping screws, I'm actually going to use a, a screwdriver just to make it a little bit easier. But I will start with this um, Torx bit just to release the, uh, the catch under here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to move the arm to its highest position. Um, and I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to start at the back of the chair. So I'm just going to whip this self-tapping screw out. Very simply, just put that on the floor so it doesn't get lost. The reason that we're doing this with the chair actually standing up is because there are there's a, a couple of springs inside the mechanism that I don't want to get accidentally lost or dislodged. And that's much, much less likely to happen when you're doing it with the chair on its feet like this. It also means that you don't have to faff about releasing the arm off the chair in the first place. So now I've got that back one out. I could just use the, the rotating action just to swing the, the arm outwards. So I've got um, slightly better access. Uh, for to get to the little screw underneath. So here all I'm doing is releasing the little screw that uh, retains the slide catch. Okay. And now, now, what we, now what we can see under the chair, there are another two self-tapping fasteners that I just need to take out to release the, uh, to release the old pad assembly completely. So there's the first one. There's the second one, and you can see the whole pad assembly now, now comes off. And it's this little spring inside here that I don't want to get accidentally lost, so that's why we're doing it this way up. So now I've got the pad, uh, the whole pad sub-assembly in my hand. Um, if there was any damage to the TPU part, what we could do is simply peel that away, put that to one side for recycling. You're left with two, two parts which we're actually going to reuse. So it's the inner pad support, which is 100% recycled um, polymer material anyway. Um, and we've also got uh, some recycled foam, which just supports the pad, makes it feel nice and squashy. Okay, so all we need to do is to take our new TPU pad. Now on this design of arm, the pads themselves are actually handed. So there's a left hand and a right hand. This, in actual fact, is a right hand pad. So if we were doing the left hand, the, it'd be exactly the same process, uh, but we would have a, a, a left hand shaped pad instead. So all we need to do to, to refit the new pad is to simply hook it over the other two parts. And almost like you're kind of doing up a bit of Tupperware, you just tuck that in all the way around uh, and, until the lip of the TPU pad just pops over the lip on the plastic and you can feel it happening, and you can probably see it on the video here. So just a little bit of um, pushing to make sure that that's located all the way around. So these things like this, we want to make sure it's just gone over the edge, so it's nice and tucked in all the way around. And I can feel that with my fingers. Yeah, that feels good. Now these are self-tapping screws to hold this pad assembly on, uh, and that means that we haven't got any nasty little brass inserts in here. So when it does come to end of life, um, this part can be recycled just as a, a single material. In actual fact, you can just probably catch with the camera there, 
there is a material identifier mark on the pad. So when it comes to recycling, this, this little um, PA6 tells me that this is uh, polyamide 6. So this is a nylon uh, plastic and 30 GF means it's got 30% glass filler in it as well to make it uh, strong. So that material identifier just helps us when it comes to recycling the end of life. So now the pad is reassembled, all we need to do is gently pop it back into place on the arm, just push down slightly firmly and just make sure that it's seated nice and tightly all the way around. You see I didn't have to work too hard to get that to happen, but that's, that's when you know it, the, the arm, the TPU is, is sat correctly on the plastic part, it should be nice and flush between them. Now we've done that, all we need to do is to put the screws back in. So I'm just going to reverse the order that I did last time. So I'm going to do the first, these two at the front first. I've got this screwdriver set on a reasonably low setting so that I don't strip the threads inside. Okay. Once we've done that, we can then um, reassemble the machine screw uh, to, to locate. This, this is actually a lock functionality, just to make sure that uh, when you're using the arm um, and when you're getting up out of the chair, that the arm doesn't kind of, the arm pad doesn't disappear away from you um, without you wanting it to. So all we need to do is to, I'll just tip the chair up to show you this big detail actually. There's a metal bar inside the arm, which uh, locks into the turret. And you, can, you should just be able to see a thread, uh, threaded hole in the back of that bar. So that's what I'm trying to locate my screw into. Okay, so I just want to kind of, if I put that in there with my fingers, I can actually just start it off with my fingers and I can feel that's located, that's great. So now with my tool, I just, uh, this is a Torx 15 bit. I just do that up gently until I can feel it catch and then half a turn for tightness. Great, now that's sprung loaded. That's doing exactly what it should do. And when we move the arm into its forward position, you see that bar locks into the turret and it's now locked again. Great. Okay, one final screw at the back of the chair. That's it. Nice job done. Now the arm should function with the height, up and down, and it should lock until you actually release the catch and then you can actually spin it around to, to move it out of the way if you want to tuck the chair uh, under the desk, uh, get it a little bit closer to the desk at the end of the night. Fantastic.